Utah, found the 2020 Toyota Supra. Everybody's talking about it, and the good thing about it is that there's an old one right beside it. You know, there's been a lot of controversy about how they changed the bodywork. Let's see if you like it. Everybody wants to know, can the new Toyota Supra live up to the hype of its predecessor? Yeah, and it's taken Toyota a while. What, 26 years? Yeah. This is amazing, nice body lines. It's the uh, 2020 GR Supra. This is the launch edition. So the old cars, I think they had 300 horsepower. The new ones have, what, 335? 335 is what Toyota says, but tests repeatedly are showing it's coming in higher than that, and with some simple software tweaks, their guys have gotten it over 400 so far. So you basically think they underrated it? Yes. Just like the motorcycle industry is doing right now, but they have to, to work with that Euro 4 stuff. Yes. So they underrate the Absolutely. car. Absolutely. So 335, because you know a lot of people are disappointed that take them 26 years and this is not a 500 horsepower car you know Acura just yes. came out with a new Acura NSX yes and it's 550 horsepower 560 but horsepower. it's actually more true to the heritage I mean that's it why is. so many people love this car so they made the car smaller if you look at yes. it yes yeah, the indeed. older car is longer. a little bit longer the yeah. nose comes out further your car is much wider yes. which I like your hood's different so it's got the split it's got a scoop, yep. That's from like the 2000 GT or something. It, Toyota it's, GT. It's, it's an awesome distinction. You can yeah. see the profile on the road. If you look at the interiors on them, totally different. Totally 2020. Uh, 20. Yeah. Totally, totally 93. 1993. Yeah. But this is what people come to love, and now they're going to learn to love this. It's an awesome car, especially the back. You can't even hear it. <laughs> you can't even hear it. I like this. So it kind of gives you a Corvette feel in the back, like a split yes. window feel in the back. Yep. This this is a nice car. So what do these cars cost? The base model is about fifty thousand dollars. That's not bad because right now you can't buy a ninety three. Oh, that. that's why so many people are drawn to this. Yeah. There are some more exotic, fantastic cars here. Yeah. Uh, but this one is actually something that you can think. You can about. afford the Acura NSX is over hundred grand. Yeah. This is a great car, man. Thank you for your time and let me check it out. Wow, Falcon Sprint with two Fords. That's that's sweet. Man, there's a lot of cars out here today. And what is this tucked down here? Man, somebody's hiding something. Wow, look at this thing. This is beautiful, is this yours? Yes, it is. We gotta find you a better parking spot. All right. This, this is way too special to be tucked over here in this little corner. What year is it? 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Coupe. Oh, you've kept it in beautiful condition. We're gonna find you a better parking spot. You got a minute? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm a Mercedes guy. I always wanted a gold wing. They were fast, probably one of the fastest cars in the world in 1954. 220 horsepower, first production car with fuel injection. They won all the races in 52, so everybody wanted one. Hey guys, can you move out of the way? I've, I've made an executive decision here. This is Again? going to be the car of the show. Oh, wait, I thought, we, this is it? Can, can, you, can, What's can, a good can you kind of move over? Where, trying to get <laughs> I didn't see this car the whole time we were Me here. either. Wow, a gold wing. What was the concept behind, did they just do the gold wing doors just to make it different or was there more to it than that? So the drivers could run and jump into the car. All for racing? Well, and you got the stiff, you've got all of the strength within the side of the car. Congratulations. Thank you. Good Man, job. This is one little... nice car, dude. How long you had it? 10 years. You had this car 10 years? Man, it is pretty. That is it such is a great color. Gorgeous. So remind me what years they made these. 54 to 57. That's right. Okay. And what was the rough number? 1,400 total. I oh, got you. So these are really rare. Oh, yeah. These are amazing cars. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. 
good pick, Skip, but yeah. I think I think we should be involved sometime with Every the now and then, Skip. Let, let us in. Call um, us. You got my number. I do. You got my number. You got yours, right? Thank you for not beating me up, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Let's hear it for the Capital One Auto Navigator 1954 Mercedes Goldwing Carter.